So this video is going to be a quick walkthrough, a nice example of an integration by parts question. So we see the formula here in red. It's not a very friendly formula, but I'll do my best to talk you through it and then we'll do an example. These things are always nice and easier with a real example. So it's quite a long-winded formula, but the good news is this bit here, well, that's just your question. That's given to you to start with. What we have to do then is try and solve it. So we have to be able to rewrite it. We try and rewrite it, if possible, to get a solution in that form. That's what we're aiming to do. It doesn't look very nice, I know. So we're going to jump into a real example and see if we can work through it. So let's try x e to the 3x. So our function is x e to the 3x, and we want to integrate that with respect to x. Now, what we've got is a product, but unlike differentiation, where we can jump into a product rule every time we have a product, it's just not quite so straightforward integration. This particular product we can solve using this method here, using integration by parts. So we'll do that. I want to set a template out, and that template hopefully is going to guide us through. So, I'm going to say u equals v equals du dx equals and dv dx equals. This is my template. Let's look at the question. The question has a u and a dv dx. So in my question here, I have u and I have dv dx. They're given to me. And I have to find the other two terms. I can find all these terms, I can just write out my solution and I'll finish. How am I going to get from u to du dx? Well, don't forget that du dx just means differentiate u. So to get from here to here, I'm going to differentiate. But one of my terms is going to be what I've labelled number 4, dv dx. So I've got to get to a v from there. So we have to do the opposite of differentiation and I have to integrate. So, next question, well, which is which? In the formula in red, it says u dv dx. So does that mean that whichever the first term is, that goes in there for u, and the second term must be the dv dx? Well, possibly, but not necessarily. There is a nice way of working out which should be u and which should be the dv. And I tend to use an acronym called LIATE. And perhaps we'll go into that in a separate video. But for now what I want to do is I want to say my x goes in there. And my other term, e to the 3x, must therefore go there. And then off we go. I'm going to differentiate x to find du dx. I'm going to integrate e to the 3x to find v. So if I differentiate x, differentiate x and we get 1. And if I integrate e to the 3x, I get 1 over 3 e to the 3x. So I get 1 over 3 e to the 3x. The hard work I think is done. Most of the mistakes that I see in students' work is at this stage. So now I've got to tap it into the formula, but the right-hand side of the formula. So my solution starts off with u, v. There's u, there's v. So my solution is going to look something like this. x times 1 over 3 e to the 3x. And then back to my formula. Minus, well, minus some integral. So let me do the minus sign. Let me put the integral in. The integral of what? Well, it's v which is this third e to the 3x, times du dx. du dx is 1. So we clearly see we haven't finished yet because we have an integral in our solution. Well, we had an integral to start with, so we don't seem to have moved on. But hopefully this integral is going to drop out for us. So I'm just going to tidy up a little bit. I know that a third times 1 is just a third. And I'm going to bring that, <coughs> excuse me, that 1 over 3 outside the integral. So I'm going to write it 
like that. I think it makes it easy to do this integral, but if you see that step is unnecessary, then there's no need for you to follow it through. You can just integrate this. So if I can integrate this, I think I've finished. We've already seen this, actually. We integrated e to the 3x back here, and we got 1 over 3 e to the 3x. So I can just write this line out. So I can say this is my first term, x times 1 over 3 e to the 3x minus a third times, I've put a bracket there, but whatever I get when I integrate e to the 3x, which would be 1 over 3 e to the 3x. I think I've finished. Well, I haven't got any limits here, so I mustn't forget my plus c. But if I put a plus c there, I could say I'm finished. And maybe just see if I could tidy it up a little bit. I mean, I've got a third times a third, for example. Could I write that a little bit neater? So all I'm going to do now is tidy this up a little bit. I think x times a third would be nicer written as x over 3 times e to the 3x. And then I've got minus a third times a third. Well, minus 1 times 1 is minus 1 over 3 times 3, so I get minus 1 over 9 e to the 3x plus c. And I think I would stop there. What I might want to do is just spot I've got a common factor of e to the 3x and perhaps include that. So I'm just going to make a little bit of space and put that in. So all I would do to finish off is I would say what my answer is, and I can see I've got an e to the 3x that's common, so I'm going to drag it out. If I take it out of this first term, I'm left with x over 3, and if I remove it from the second term, I'm left with minus 1 over 9. And then mustn't forget, constant of integration plus c. You might decide that you want to bring a fraction outside as well, but I'm not going to stop there. So that's hopefully a reasonably nice example of integration by parts. Okay, thanks for watching.